welcome back to the Legends Lounge Minecraft server. How you doing, everybody? Hopefully you guys are good. Welcome to the Sunday Chill episode where we just relax. We do a couple of projects and we just sit back and shoot the breeze. Chew the fat. Just have a little chat and have a talk about things. And today, we're in spawn. And I've got to show you a few things around here. But dang it. Don't have any... Oh, that's, all, that's okay. I need some ender balls, but that's okay. We can go and find some. So spawn has been... There's a lot of work being happening in spawn recently. Um, so we've got the... Uh, we've got the, the, the pick still. Awesome stuff for emeralds. Um, we've got the, the armor store, which is going on, which is by um, by Flavor Flav. Um, Poosk. <laughs> this is awesome. We've got iPoosk's bootleg magazine shop. That's awesome. It's brilliant. Look at this. You can buy... All sorts of cool and wonderful books, and they're dirt cheap as well. So let's have a look at what we got in here. Whoa, there we go. Enchanted book, being the arthropods five for one diamond. Bargain at twice the price. Pop your payments in there. Look, he's doing all right. I bought a couple of books from him the other day. Um, I bought a sharpness four book for two diamonds. Two diamonds slapped in there. Business is booming for Poosk. Also, <laughs> round the back here, uh, T. Biggins. Um, has has got together a bit of a paintball um, area, and we played on this um, played on this the other night, and it's really cool, really really cool. So basically, it's just a little, a little PvP area where he's um, he's gone and set it up. So yeah, there's the rules. We don't need to read the rules, do we? Nah, sheep, move it. So it's very much a kind of just a basic, you know, um, PvP PvP area where you've got. You know, maximum four players, or, well, I suppose you can have more than that, but it's four teams, so red, black, green, and yellow. And at the back here, um, he's got, in the chest, some of your stuff. So basically, yeah, you get the leather cap, red's knife, and red's pinball gun. So basically, you get um, you get five shots, um, five arrows. Um, you can't wear any armor other than the cap. Um, yeah, and there you go. It's awesome. It's cool. It was um, it was a lot of fun, <laughs> a lot of fun playing last night. So yeah, I think we need to move out. You know, maybe do a little bit of landscaping around here so we can make this a good feature. So I think that's a yeah, that's an awesome bit of spawn. Also, we've got a few new shops which are uh, which are kicking up. Um, so obviously we've got Pusks, uh, bootleg magazine store <laughs> over there. We've also got what appears to be a bunker. We've um, we've got the market. So I think this is water cows uh, place in here. It's not quite finished. But um, yeah, it looks really tidy inside. It looks awesome inside. So yeah, let's have a look. What can we buy? Three stacks, one diamond. Nice. There you go. If you want carrots, there's the place. 32 blocks, one diamond. 20 blocks, one diamond. Nice. Like it. Like it. I think that's going to be like a bit of a general store kind of thing. Obviously, we've got the, you know, the, the Pièce de la Résistance, Seaface's Quart Emporium. Um, yeah, where uh, Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie, only the exclusive people, you know, go shopping there. And T. Biggums, he's got his um, yeah, he's got his store up and running. And um, if you notice the signs, the signs were a little bit messed up. And the reason for that was the server got updated automatically to the new snapshot. So, uh, fourteen with twenty five A got updated to, and that it messed up a few things. So the um, yeah, the signs got messed up. I um, I rolled it back straight away. And I've now stopped it, so uh, basically it shouldn't, um, yeah, it shouldn't update automatically. Uh, but we are playing in the new snapshot now, so we're playing it in uh, 25B, which is, um, yeah, nowhere near as glitchy. There's a few little glitches around the place, but that's, um, it's nothing, nothing, yeah, nothing, I suppose, um, that'll break the bank anyway. One thing, though, is item frames. If you look at the, uh, if you look at the item frame as it is, and then I think if you put an item in it, no, that's okay, that. That's okay. There are some which is um, that look darker, and I think it's um, if they were there before the snapshot um, was released, then they they appear dark. And I hope they stay. I really do because they, they look cool. They look so cool. And um, there isn't one around here that I can show you. I don't think. Let's just go and have a look in the uh, look in the store. See if J oh, no, Jimmy doesn't know any stuff. Uh, but yeah. But anyway. Oh, Poosks! The magazine, the bootleg magazine store. That's good. Cool. Let's go and have a quick, um, just a quick shoot on over here. And um, you'll see what I mean. But I think they look really cool. I like him, I like him 
I like the darkness of them. So if you notice the dark, I don't know whether it's a light and glitch or something. But um, yeah, it looks... I, I like that. I want them to keep that colour. That would be cool. That would be cool. Anyway, today, what we're going to do... Gonna uh, gonna finish off one project which has been I've been working on this since the service started. And what I've needed is emeralds. That's what I've needed to do um, to yeah to do this project. And what we're gonna do is we are finally gonna finish off the this um this this spot here. Well we're gonna do the top bit. I then need to put a map in here. So a map of um yeah, map of the, of the place the, the immediate area where we are anyway. So let's um, let's do a little swim. Go on, boy. Get up there. Get up there. And as we're building this, I just want to have a chat with you guys about a few things. So first of all, um, this game for me, um, I've been playing this game now for years. Um, yeah, it is. It, it really is. <laughs> years. Um, and it's getting to the point whereby um, the game's, you know, from a... You know, from a perspective of, you know, staying alive, <laughs> staying alive, um, it's um, it's getting quite easy. So what I've decided to do is, um, to to ditch diamond armor other than boots. So I'll use diamond armor only when I'm fighting a wither or we're out in one of those new, um, sea ocean biome things. Um, but other than that, yeah, no, not gonna happen. Not gonna happen at all. Um, so, yeah, decided. Just decided right now. So we're going to, um, yeah, we're going to make this, um, yeah, we're going to make, try to make the game a little bit more difficult, a little bit more challenging. I like those times where you, you know, you're in a cave and you, um, yeah, you, you're near enough dead and you've got all your stuff and you don't lose it and the game gets a little bit more, you know, a little bit more difficult. So I like that. So, yeah, no more diamond armor. Done, gone. Thank you very much. Now, let me just get this positions right. So this wants to be nine blocks wide. So this is going to be one, one. So that's the center point there. So that's going to go two. I tell you what. Let me just check my creative world, and I'll come back to you. All right, I got this. So we're going to go there. No wrong block. I haven't spent months going collecting emeralds. To place grass. So what we're going to do is we're, we're making the the Legends Lounge interlocking L's logo, and yeah, should be quite cool in the end. Like I said, it's taking me a while. Uh, so it goes five and it goes up by eight. So that's four, and then one, two, three, four. Nice. So. At this point there, it then kicks out. So it does a one of these, and it's, it, this isn't this isn't anything <laughs> anything fancy by any stretch of anybody's imagination. Um, it's just it's emerald blocks in an L shape. Um, <laughs> that's really it. Oh, I've got more emerald blocks left over. Hold the phone. Hold the phone. I think that goes up by one more. I think. Is that right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. In fact, in fact, I've got any more blocks left over. That's nice. Love it. So we'll go down, we'll have a look, see how it looks. It's probably not going to look anything too special. Um, I was thinking about putting some uh, wool around the outside, um, but I don't think... I've done this in creative, but I don't think it looks it looks too too hot. I think that looks that looks quite cool. You know, you know, it's um, it's just you know the interlocking L's. If you if you look at my thumbnails. And all that kind of jazz, you will see the Legends Lounge logo, and that is it. That is it in its full glory, and we've got three blocks of emeralds left over. Nice. Nice. I like it. So that's what I've been saving up emeralds for. Awesome stuff for your emeralds. This will now change to awesome stuff for your diamonds. 
because I don't need emeralds anymore. But we've still got six blocks left over. So, that's one project done and done. Now what we're going to do is we'll, uh, we're going to head back over to the, um, to the main castle build. And, um, yeah, we're going to start on, uh, start on something, something pretty awesome, I think. Alright, so I've been spending a lot of time digging out this place. And I've started to get a, get a bit of a plan. But there's still a lot of work to do. And I mean a lot of work to do. It's just, I'm starting to think I've bitten off a little bit more than what I can chew. <laughs> if I'm completely honest. But... One of my uh, one of my plans I see uh, is to keep this or to have this multi level, and yeah, digging it all out is um is gonna be it's gonna be an absolute pain in the pain in the buttocks, but it's gonna be it's gonna be cool when it's finished. Now, um, what we're gonna do today is basically gonna relocate um the the farms that we got at the top. Flav, Flav's just joined the game. What's happening, Flav? Um, so we've got the chicken farm and the egg farm at the top there, and we've got the cow farm there. Um, at the end, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have this, what has been one huge, huge mountain. Um, and we'll try and make it look as, like, authentic as possible, but, um, yeah. I want it to be, the inspiration for this build, by the way, though, what I'm using is Helm's Deep. So, you know, like the, um, you know, I don't know if you've seen the Lord of the Rings movies, but it's built into the wall and built into, like, a... A mountainside, um, so yeah, so that's what I'm that's what I'm going for. But I want a massive mountain, um, so we don't need to clear too much more of this. Um, in fact, yeah, we can we can probably start building up the mountain now. Um, but it's yeah, it's the inside which is going to take a lot of work to do. Now, over here, meet my friends. Say hello, hi, how you doing? What have you, what have you got for sale, Mister Butcher? You want you want chickens and you want pork chops. Nice. This <laughs> this area, by the way, uh, I've been doing a little bit of work out here, um, and that's what we're going to work on today. But a little bit of work out here, and um, as I was as I was working out here, I was doing a little bit of terraforming and playing around the bits and pieces and get a few ideas. Um, I'd get zombie villages coming out of nowhere because this area wasn't lit up at all. So I thought, right, I'm going to trap you guys. So just like this little fella. Um, stuck down in there, um, I'd just dig a hole, <laughs> really quick, dig a 4x4 four four hole, then end the ball out. Um, and while the guy was sat in, you know, he was stuck in there, quickly run off, grab a portion and a, uh, and a golden apple and heal him. So, yeah, these guys have all been, all been healed, they come from zombies. Hey. So, yeah, so come from, uh, come from zombies. And I've just moved them in by real car, so you'll see... These are the empty ones. Yeah, popped them in a little, a little minecart. Straight in. Off you go. So, um, so yeah. So, emeralds, I don't need no more. Um, we've got that. We've got the emerald situation situated. That is done. That is dusted. Um, now, since um, since we are going to remove the cow farm and the other farms that were up there, I need some source of food. So, what I've done is um, I went and saw a tutorial by Zoomavoid. Now, if you don't know who Zuma is... Um, he does some epic tutorials, epic tutorials about Minecraft, and this is one of them. So it's basically an automatic chicken farm. I'll link it in the description below, uh, but it's really simple. Chickens at the top, lay eggs, they then get put into uh, hoppers, which then go up with dispenser. As soon as the dispenser picks one up, it shoots it out, and little babies are born. Um, and when the babies grow up, their heads go in the lava, and then they die. Basically, all the drops fall down, and it ends up in there. So, yeah. Easy, easy chicken. Brilliant. Love it. In fact, I want more chicken than what I want your feathers. So you can keep your feathers. Um, yeah, really cool, really cool addition. So, yeah, nice, neat, tidy. And who knows, we might put a chicken store at spawn someday. But today, what we're going to work on is, um, since this area is going to be uh, basically farmland, um... I've decided that I want to put in a little homestead, and I want to make this area, um, put little houses and little huts and that kind of thing. And this is going to be like like the, like the servants' quarters. You know, you've got the master living in the castle, um, overlooking the his land, which is me, I'm the master, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and over here, it's going to be the farmland area, and we're going to put in little huts and 
and basically make a little village. Um, so these guys are kind of coming really, really handy. But um, I want to start working on, on the homestead. Now, the homestead, from from what I've seen in uh, in pitches, and from what I've seen online, you know, they're not, some of them are quite grand, but some of them aren't. You know, some of them are quite drab and quite run down. And I want this to be quite drab and run down, you know. This is basically my servants' quarters. So um, I've been playing around with a little bit of um, the coloured clay and to try and get a bit of a, a bit of a feel as to what colours I want to go with. So this is a black stained clay, which has a brown texture to it. So I want to go and um, put this down and see see exactly what it looks like. But this um, this homestead has potential. I'm going to tell you right now, it's got potential. Um, we'll put these down. We'll see. Um, we'll see exactly what it looks like. And whilst we're doing this, let's just have a little chat about some more Minecraft-related stuff, which is Feed the Beast. Now, I don't know if you guys are subscribed to the Ghost Rider 1209. If you're not, you should be. I uh, put out some awesome content. Um, and um, Stephen, the Ghost Rider 1209, has, um, it runs the Minecraft server, which is a Feed the Beast modded server. Um, and it's a, yeah, it's cool. And for, for the last little while, if you've seen any of my Feed the Beast videos, they've all been played on that server. And um, we've been playing it in the Direwolf 20 pack. Now, the Direwolf 20 pack is, I mean, don't get me wrong, it's a cool pack. It's it, it's awesome. I mean, you know, Feed the Beast in general. Yeah, it's just a just a different you know dimension. It's a it's a whole new world. Uh, but it's um it gets a bit easy, and that's what I've seen seen before about you know about the game itself. Um, I don't want the game to get too easy. Um, yeah, don't want the game to get too too easy at all. And the the Diable Twenty Pack is basically you know you've got the, the standard type mobs and then a couple of extra ones. But there is a pack called uh, the Monster Pack, and the Monster Pack basically in it, everything wants to kill you. Um, okay, buddy. Speaking of feed the beast, um, so yeah, everything wants to kill you. Everything just wants to uh, to murder your face. And I'm thinking that would be that would be more of a challenge um, for me. And also, you know, we'd get to see some uh, some cool mobs. But I wanted to run it past you guys. You know, what do you think? What do you reckon? I don't, well, first of all, have you played many um, many Feed the Beast or modded Minecraft stuff? And if you have, what do you reckon? What um, what pack would you play? And obviously, what I want to do is I want to do a Let's Play on them. But I don't want to do, you know, across multiple different um, different packs. You know, I don't want to do, you know, you know, one week it's Feed the Beast Monster. Then the next week it's you know um, something else and feed the beast you know dial twenty style or you know I don't want to do that so I just want to do one so I want to open up to you guys what do you reckon what do you think what should we do um, I'm, like I said I'm leaning more towards a monster uh, but also as well I don't want to be in a in a situation whereby you know the guys on the server you know most of them decide to do the um, uh, the Dial 20 pack, and I'm basically playing on a server on my own, you know. So yeah, so I'm in a bit of a in a in a, in a state of quandary, if that's a word. Um, I think so. If not, I just made it up, and it's awesome. Um, so so what I want to do is I want to get you know I want to run it past you guys, um, see what you think, see what you thought, um, see if you had any cool. You know, cool ideas yourselves. And if you do, holla. You know, shout. Shout, shout, let it all out. Um, do the hokey cokey and all that kind of thing. So, yeah, so let me know what you think, okay? Um, either way, there will be some uh, some FTB, some feeder beast, on the channel for sure. Um, but I'm just not sure of which one to do, if I'm, uh, if I'm honest. Now, let's get this... Let's mix this up a little bit. Where are, oh, there. <laughs> I was like, where my blocks go? Minecraft, give me my blocks back. Oh, you did. Yeah, you did. Sorry. 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 Um, so let's, um, let's play around with this a little bit. Now, take that away. And do that there. 
Yeah! I think that's looking nice. So, I'm, um, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Oops. I'm going to place the wrong block. And I make a little bit more progress on this thing. And we'll come back to you guys, and you can let me know what you think. All right, so for what has been the best best part of a day, um, tearing, putting things up, tearing things down, and all that kind of stuff, we finally have this. Now, I was getting a bit... Um, I, I looked at it, and having so having these, these two sides pop out, it just looked a little bit too grand. And I didn't want to go too full on, if I'm honest. I wanted to look, you know, I wanted to be kind of like this, the, you know, the, the 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 farmer's, you know, place. So I wanted to be a little bit run down, but still, you know, it's it's still it's part of the castle, you know. It still needs to have some kind of pizzazz to it, but nothing too big, nothing too big. So I'm just going to put up a, um, a few finishing touches. Um, I think maybe some, yeah, maybe some some coat rack coat racks. Maybe we put one in here as well. I don't know, maybe maybe we remove that torch. Put one there and pick up the torch if we can. Yeah. Drop you there. Give me those back. Thank you. And then we go. So I'm trying to make it, you know, like a bit of a farmhouse type feel. Um, we've got these pot plants to fill in as well. Let's put something, a little bit of lilac, a little bit of colour. A little splash of something. Uh, what else can we put in here? Let's put in a little bit of a cactus. Yeah, I'm liking it. What else can we put in here? Um, yeah, that'll do. Nicey, nicey. And upstairs, again, just going really, really simple. Really simple. So I've put down like a, a bedroom in here. And then I've put down a bedroom at the back. I'll maybe put in some more paintings or something like that, but... Um, yeah, very simple, very, very simple and straightforward. So we'll put a couple of chests down, and we'll put maybe a crafting bench or something like that in the corner. No, that doesn't, no, that doesn't work. What about, where can we put, there, right there. There, that looks nice. And we'll put down, I've got one more pot. Where shall I put it? Right bang in the middle of the window. There we go, can we have that? That's a bit naff. <laughs> just looks a bit... It's it's like a non-existent plant. It's just like a fff plant. Fff. What about an oxide daisy? That's better. There we go. So maybe a couple more paintings. Maybe to, to just dress this place up. To be honest, I don't expect me using this place at all. It's just for looks. That's all it is. It's simply just for looks. Um, maybe, can we put something... Hang, there we go. Hang a tea towel. On there, there we are. So we've got the furnace, we've got the old washing up place, I've got a few tables knocking around. There's no chairs or anything like that. I've just put just put it as straightforward as possible. And try to make it, you know, try to make it a little bit of something. But again, not to not go too overboard with it. I like the way the leaves have come out. The leaves look great. Uh, these are a mixture of spruce leaves and the oak leaves, and they, they, they look great. Also, you will see, because we're in the new snapshot, we've now got the new dirt, so we've got the coarse dirt. So I've put that in there, so it'll obviously stop the grass from spreading along onto the uh, onto the dirt, and I think it looks rather cool. Um, I might change up this, though. I might um, I might just carry on with this this type of flavour. Um, but I don't know. I don't know yet. I might, um, yeah, don't know. Don't know. That's that's all for another time. All for another time. But before we go, we are just going to do a couple of final touches on here with a little bit of bone meal. And we're going to just pop up a few little bits here and put some of these, put some of these plants down. Pop you there. Couple of bits around here. There we go. Just add, add a little bit of something, you know. Add a little bit of something, something, and pop you there. And then we'll just add a little bit of, a little bit of something there. So I think that looks all right. I think that's a, I think that's a decent start. Um, I think what we'll do next time is we'll carry on. Maybe we start doing a little bit something down there. I don't know. Or we go back to the castle. Who knows? I don't know. I don't know. Anyway. Thanks very much for, for joining me today. Hopefully you've had a great day. Hopefully you enjoy the rest of your day no matter what you're doing. But in between time, look after yourselves. Take it easy, and I'll see you all very, very soon.